Go, go, go. Good evening, all. It's Friday evening. It's 7 p.m. So, therefore, it's your Strictly Teaching with Shannon and Phil. Hello. Oh, she's there. <laughs> um, and of course, it's our third night at Viennese, and she's going to put the clock in the way. <laughs> we'll just move that across for you. It's our Viennese. And um, so, we're going to go through it all again tonight, and we're going to do. Um, it's a different music for you as well, so you can get the feel for it. And then we're going to move on to the Vini swing there. Uh, we'll break it down, and she's no doubt pressed the wrong button again. Right. right. We're okay, we're okay. You're all right, are you? Yeah, we're and, okay. And um, swing, break it down into four quarters for you, uh, and then put it all together at the end and dance it to music. Uh, but first of all, as ever, we've got our housekeeping uh, and our disclaimer that you're, you're there and doing this at your own risk. So move all the furniture back, no silly carpets or anything, uh, rugs that might move on wooden floors. Uh, make sure all the pets are out the way if possible. Uh, we don't want anybody getting injured or uh, pets getting hurt. And um, make sure you've got a drink on the side. I've got myself a cup of tea tonight. Oh, very good. And um, as ever, toilets are through there on the left for ladies and gents. So, um, where we finished off the other night with a little bit of history, uh, we got to the point where Johan first um, had passed away, and he passed away from scarlet fever, and he'd been ill for a while, uh, and that was 1849. And so Johann Strauss, the younger, decided to put those two orchestras together, both his and his father's, had one very big orchestra, and the way it went from there. Um, like his father, he travelled immensely with the orchestra, all over Europe and to Britain as well, uh, but it took its toll on him. He was a workaholic. Uh, he had a beautiful um, little home in the country, and um, in, a, in a little place by a lake called Bad Ischl, which is a beautiful spot, and his great friend, um, Johannes Brahms, used to visit him regularly. And one particular uh, day in um, 1866, he decided that uh, he'd been reading a poem from a friend all about the Blue Danube. Oh. And he thought, ah, that sounds like a really good title for a song and a piece of music. So he started writing this piece of music. And uh, as in, you know, it was then, it was, uh, he called it Ander Schönen Blarm Donung, which is in German, the, by, the, by the side of the beautiful blue Danube. Mm. Uh, and that's what this poem was about that he mm. read from a friend. Um, so the way he went, he wrote it down, and in mid-1866 it was performed for the first time. And as you can imagine, it went down an absolute storm. Um, three printers, uh, one in London, one in Leipzig, and one in Brussels, actually went to print on that score. And within, I think, a week, they printed somewhere in the region of about 10,000 copies of that piece of music. Um, it's a piece of music that is synonymous with Strauss. The interesting factor, of course, um, is that Vienna is synonymous with that beautiful Blue Danube, but it's one of those strange cities where the river, the Danube, doesn't go through it. And if you consider places like France, uh, with Paris, London, Moscow, uh, Rome, where the rivers actually go straight through the centre of uh, the city, the Danube doesn't. So in those days, when the Danube uh, was used as a form of travel for people arriving by boat, there was still quite a hike, a journey into the centre of the city before they got there. Uh, so the river doesn't actually go through the city at all. It's still quite a, a journey into the city. Um, okay, we got people um, coming yes. up. Oh, by all means, say hello. Are you okay? I don't want to interrupt. Um, YouTubers. Yes. Tonight we've got Stephanie and David Cooper. All right. Yes. They might be. I might be in the stage where I'm going to guess where they're from. Oh. I think right. they're from Leeds. All right. Okay. Um, Cheryl and John. Oh, they've told me in Exmouth. Oh. Okay. Um, this na oh, beautiful name. I can't say it very well. 
Sri Yanni, it looks like. I don't think I've said that right. Yeah. From Durham. Oh, right. Melvin and Marilyn from Horsham are ready again. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Linford saying, we're watching. Hi, everybody. Hello, Linford and Kathy. Yes. Brenda and Michael are watching oh, in Devon. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're the ones on YouTube. Um, and we've got on Facebook... Um, Let's have a little look. Matt and Joe want to know if we smelt their barbecue earlier. Oh. <laughs> Pat and Mike, come on. Oh, good right, evening, yeah. everyone. Good evening, all. Yes. Um, evening, Andrews, Renock and George are on. Oh, right. Okay. Colette and Ian from Liverpool. Pam and Jim for Vancouver Island. Oh, Vancouver. Catherine and Stephen, yes. thank you for. I won't say the Todds tonight. Oh, Catherine right. and Stephen are watching. Yes. Um. Caroline Walters is okay now. She couldn't get on YouTube, but she's okay now. Howard's mm. back on. Hi, Howard. It's now it's Martin and Anna. It's Anna's birthday today. Oh, so let's all birthday. say happy birthday at oh, home. Everybody oh, say happy yes. birthday, Anna. Yeah. And it was his last Tuesday. Oh, okay. They're in Chelmsford. Mm-hmm. Julian's on again. Hi, both. Uh, Gloria and Bud all eager and ready to go. Isabel, I like that. Good evening, lovely people. Oh. <laughs> that nice. Mm-hmm. Michelle's on. Hi. Oh, evening, Michelle. Yes. Let's have a look. Carol, we've got both Carols tonight. Both it hasn't said. Tonight, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Liz and Ellen are back with us. Okay. Karen. Karen, is Lee with you? Does he dance as well? Let us know if Lee dances as well. Meddy. Hi, Meddy from oh, Bangor. Yeah. Um, Val, is it Boness? B E B O hyphen Ness. Yes, no with the B. Is that, I don't know if that's the same Boness. I think mm-hmm. it might be Scotland. Oh, I don't know why. All oh, right, okay. Uh, Liz from Dublin. Uh, Mary from Dublin. I wonder if you two know each other. All right. And, tonight. Um, and Michelle's asking, is Pete on YouTube? I'll have a look after Michelle, see if he's mm-hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. Jenny and Dave are on. We all thought nobody would be on it tonight, didn't we? Because we mm-hmm. thought, oh, it's been a warm day. Everyone be outside. Mm-hmm. Barbecues. Yes. Oh, Karen's just said he tries. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Bronwyn and Brian from Scotland. We do like to say hello, don't we, to everybody? We do. It's yeah. why we do yes. it live, yes. because I think there's something special about all of us dancing yes. at the about, same time. It, it's, it's really what we are about, really. Yeah. All, all our dancing, our classes and our dance breaks, um, it's about socialising, really. Yeah, socialising and coming together yeah. uh, is what it's the, the main theme of it, and the dancing is almost secondary. Yeah, yeah, it's friendship. Isn't it's it? friendship, yeah. yes. So, um, yes, it's nice to do it live. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to switch it on. Uh, and uh, are we going to walk this? Okay, everybody. So, you might be deciding to watch, you might be joining in. So, our programme for this evening is because it's the third one, we're going to try and recap, consolidate, and let you know what we're doing next week as mm-hmm. well. And uh, so we're going to do a walkthrough yes. of what we've done so far this week. But we're just going to walk it quite quickly through. Then we're going to dance it through to the Blue Danube. Yes. Maybe a couple of times, maybe twice. Then we're going to dance it to a different track. Yes. Just mm-hmm. to get the feeling of dancing it to something different. Mm-hmm. If that's taking about five, ten minutes to do that. Um, and then we're going to do the Viennese swing. So if any of you are beginners, um, it's perfect if you've done it before we might just show you a few little technical ideas that maybe you could try and if you maybe you didn't know already um and then we'll let you know what we're doing next week yes. at the end <coughs> uh, but the ball tomorrow <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm gonna dress up <laughs> so should we go from we're the going beginning? to go right from the beginning and walk it through for you yeah so yes. it's up to you. you can dance it with us at the same time sit and watch up to you Okay, let's make you sure your feet are in. Okay, so we started with the four side pendulums. We have one, and two, and three, and four. Lida keeps doing another four while Phil does under arm turn. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. From there we did rotating clockwise pendulums for a count of eight. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. From there we did the underarm turn with the checks, and we go straight in now. Ready, and one, and two, check three, 
out four, check five, out six, come back in, and then do a side close. Okay, so I, I think Liz this week asked me about the transition. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you want to make your feet, sure your feet close, so you're ready to go back on followers' left foot, leader's right foot. Yes, is that right? Ready to go back? Well, um, yeah, forward on yours. Yeah. Yeah. Forward on my right. Yes, yes. So from there, we're going to do our four quarter turns, our natural quarter turns. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, when we do those, we talked about the breathing, and all the way through this, if you can't see us from there, we do have a gap between us. So we talked about relying on the arms, the frame all the way through, really strong frame, but it just breathe out and in on the quarter turns. From there, we just use these pendulums, side pendulums, just to reposition ourselves so you can rotate them until you're ready. We gather so we can feel the music, we scratch our head, until the music um, starts, the next phrase starts. And we do two forward schnetterlings. So remember, we've got the check. So forward and forward with a check and forward and forward into hold. Then we do four counts for the, for the natural turns. One, two, three, four. Then we do a backward schnetterling. It starts forward, but then it rotates. We take the hand down and through. Take it backwards, and then round we go to... Now we're going to just do that again, because with the music for the Blue Danube, it fits quite nicely. Well, so we're going to do another forward schmetterling down the room. And forward, 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 round we go. One, two, three, four, backward schmetterling, forward. Rotate it backwards now. Round we go. Two, three, four. And we're going to start it from the beginning. So, can you remember all of that at home? What do we start with? You shout it out. Because if this was a class, I'd make them shout it out. Mm, and okay. she wants to hear you. Yes, so I can hear you. Matt and Joe will be able to hear you. And John, who's close to me? Okay, so what comes first? Pendulums. Side pendulums, well done. <laughs> and in the underarm turn. What comes next? Good. No, they got it. <laughs> Rotating the pendulums. What came next? With the checks. The two checks. What came next? No. We do the quarter turn. Yes. I'm sure you've got it right at home. Then what came next? Well, we reposition, don't we? Mm -hmm. Then we do the... Butterflies again. The forward butterflies, the schmetterling, and then we do the backward one. Mm -hmm. And just for now, for tonight, we're going to repeat that again. Okay? Let's have a go to music. We're going to do it twice to music. Okay? All the way through the track, mm -hmm. the Blue Danube. Yes. That's interesting. Bowness near Edinburgh. Oh. But it looks like Borrow Stowness. Mm. And I don't know how you say it because it's come off my phone. I'll have a look right. later. Okay, are we ready, everybody? So you can dance along with us, you can watch. We're going to do two, though. So it's up to you guys. Are you ready, Phil? Yeah. Okay. And. Side pendulums. Ladies under arm. Pendulums rotating. Under arm with the checks. Round we go. Back 
Kurdish veteran. success as, as a conductor than he did uh, as a musician. Now, Yosef, the middle brother, he uh, was a specialist at writing polkas. Uh, and throughout the three musicians' lifetime, the amount of um, scripts that they built up, that they all wrote, was phenomenal. <clears throat> now, as we end um, towards the end of the um, 19th century, <clears throat> uh, Johan had been working non-stop. He was in his third marriage, and it was his third marriage uh, that she actually stimulated him again, along with his great friend um, Johannes Brahms, um, to write more music. Now then, um, one of the very uh, famous things about uh, the beautiful Blue Danube, of course, is that... Um, Johann's third wife, um, Adele, um, she actually had this wonderful fan that she used an awful lot. And Johannes Brahms one day took it and wrote on the inside of it to Adele. And the beautiful Blue Danube, alas, the one I did not write, because uh, he loved that piece of music. But Johannes Brahms wrote some lovely waltzes himself. And uh, he wrote a piece... Um, which was the Brahms Waltz, which I'm sure you may all know. I know this lady standing here absolutely loves the Brahms Waltz. It was written for piano, but more often than not these days, it is played on the violins, and it is a beautiful dance to, to do a waltz to. Um, so I'm just going to stop at that point, see if she's got any information coming in. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> um, likes and hearts. Oh, right. um, some comments saying it's getting there. It's doing. Some people have done really well with it. Okay. Uh, yes. One or two, understandably, running out of room a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. And we find that when you very first learn anything, we all do big steps, big don't steps. we? Yes. So the more you get used to it, the more you can condense yes. it down and get those changes yes. of weight a little bit quicker yes. as well. Um, but no, it's gone very well. I think uh, we did. We do have one question though. Um, in the corners, do you do three natural turns and a change step? And always puzzle, what is the difference between natural and reverse turns? 
So I think we might have a quick Corners. look at that when we go around the corner. All oh, right, okay, yes. Um, okay, yeah, Thomas got it, she needs a bit more practice. I think basically it's just a bit more practice. A bit more room and a bit more practice would be good, the, but I think uh, they'll enjoy this. We, we will sort of explain that to you about going around the corners, reverse and natural turns. Do it really quickly. But um, your natural turns, as you come to a corner, um, when this dance first started, when they got to a corner, you can imagine that a, a, quite a, a, um, a, a full ballroom, as they got down the edge of the room and they got to the short side, that's when they went into natural turns to move it quicker. Uh, and they got to the other corner uh, and, the, and it was backing up, then they'd do a box waltz or they'd do some pendulums ready to go again. But always across the short side, as such, it was always natural turns. I'm assuming it's the Sriyani, I don't know if I'm saying, I'm really sorry if I'm saying that wrong who's asked the question from Durham. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm assuming you mean normal, normal, um, international v yes. the, the faster one. Mm -hmm. Generally, we refer to natural turns as anything that rotates to the right. So anything rotating to the right, that doesn't mean going right on the floor. I mean, I could be going around that way, but rotating to the right. So anything to the right means your body or your axis is rotating around to the right. That's a natural turn. Reverse turns are very simply anything that rotates to the left. Reverse turns weren't used because everybody rotates around the room anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. So if you do a reverse turn, which we're not going to do because we won't make it, um, you've got to do your full reverse turn 360 plus an extra bit in the room to get round. So that's why only natural turns were ever used. Mm -hmm. Reverse turns, you also, uh, for the uh, open, you know, the international version, you do a cross to help you rotate even more when you do the first half of it or the back half of it. Sorry, the forward half of it. And then you close your feet on the back half. So, um, yeah, so there are a few differences. Reverse is always very flat as well um, and very much move down the room in a linear, an oval fashion, rather than a rotating fashion. But we can always maybe come back to it. It depends yeah. how long this lockdown lasts. We yes. might come back to the mm -hmm. Um So should we dance it? I'm not sure I've answered your question. Let me know if I didn't answer your question now. Mm -hmm. um, let's do it all the way through. The well, I think we'll do the blue Danube again. All right, okay. But this time, I'm not going to say a word. So I'm not going to interrupt you. So you can enjoy the music. If you go off script, as it were, it doesn't matter. I you right. You just, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to read. <laughs> um, just do what you like. But same again, I'm not going to say a word. So I'm not going to interrupt this beautiful music. That's going to be the hardest thing for me. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> okay, are we ready, everybody? So let's get set up. I'll just turn the music up a smidge. Hopefully the only thing you'll hear from me is breathing. Okay, are we ready? Yes, so that's what you mind. So this is the last one to the Blue Danube. Yes. But we will just do a quick one after one to the Voices of Spring. Okay. Okay, here we go. Maybe not. Oh, not. <laughs> okay. Tick tick. It's like technical hitch there. That's okay, go on.
Hey! Well done, everybody. While she's having a little mosey through your heartbeats and your thumbs up and so on, I'll just give you a little bit more information. Um, as we ended up towards the uh, latter part of the, um, the 19th century, Johann himself became very ill. And alas, he died in 1899. He was 75 years old. And um, his younger brother, Edward, um, he had this idea that with all these manuscripts that they had, he did not want anybody else to get their hands on them. And it was quite easily... Um, done in those days because there were so many uh, musicians around if there was a spare manuscript somewhere they'd take hold of it and possibly um, try and claim it as their own um, so um, in 1907 at the age of sort of 63, 64 and more in a jealous rage really because when he went through all the manuscripts that they had which were there was absolutely thousands of them they reckon there was somewhere in the region of about 14,000 manuscripts that the Strauss family had built up in 1907 Edgard so that it wouldn't come to light that possibly he was the weaker of the three brothers he decided to burn them all and he did say at the time that it was a pact between him and his brothers so no one could get his hand on the scripts, but they were all burnt. And uh, on one of the furnaces he took them to, uh, over somewhere around about five or 6,000 of them were burnt in the space of five hours in bundles. And when the people at the furnaces actually decided to open up thinking they were waste paper and saw they were all manuscripts from the Strauss family, they actually waited for Edgar to turn up to say to him, do you really want to burn all these? And he sat there while they were all burnt. Every single Strauss manuscript was burnt. So in 1907, basically nearly 100 years of the Strauss dynasty, went up in flames. Okay, Anything? Yes, I think it went quite um, pixelated. And I, I could oh. see on my phone, I was just going up to just check the Wi-Fi then. Right, okay. um, but I think it's just come back. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's coming and going on Facebook, but YouTube um, looks to be okay. Right. So maybe if you're struggling on Facebook, try Sequence Dance UK YouTube channel. Right. Um, okay. It might be a better picture. Um, Elizabeth just said, is anyone else having problems? I, I've actually got on my other phone here and it's coming and going. So it might be a busy night tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but I will put up the um, the good quality copy afterwards as okay. well. And I'll put the link out there for you. Okay, so just try the YouTube. If, if Facebook's struggling a bit tonight, try YouTube. I think it looks okay on YouTube. Um, good, I think it went, I think it went well. Okay. So, shall we just do a little bit to something different? I'm just conscious of the time, it's half past, so I want to make okay. sure we get enough. Yeah, they're, they're all struggling with Facebook. Is it still going? I just wonder, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's my phone. I, I don't think it's here, I think yeah. it's, um, I would just suggest trying YouTube, because okay. it's all right at the minute on YouTube. It's coming and going. Right, so... Different track. Shall we try it very quickly, but just a minute of yeah. it, that's all. Just yeah. so you can try it. Try one track. Just try one yeah. sequence through, yeah. just to something else, just to show you it, it can be any, you know, you can do What's any different. Screen? Yeah, I think people are struggling on Facebook. Oh. So um, well, we'll keep going mm -hmm. and hopefully they'll be able to catch up with a good quality copy, copy later or yeah. maybe move across to YouTube. Now I think it's gone, Facebook. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Not you ready. get ready. No, I'm ready, yes. <laughs>
Okay, well done. I think people are heading off to YouTube. Right. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, it's, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, my picture isn't great either. Okay. So, uh, for those of you that are still with us on YouTube, um, just before we uh, change uh, the dance, um, what I can tell well, you... While you talk, Phil, I'm going to re reset it on okay. Facebook and right. just to okay. see whether it makes a difference. Uh, just okay, just... if you're on Facebook, I'm just going to reset it and just to see whether it makes any difference. Right, okay. Um, Edgy, you go your brother? In fact, no, I'll leave it. Okay. Um, Let me go in. He died in um, 1909. He was just turned 65. Um, and strangely enough at that time, there was another Strauss coming to the fore. Um, but Edward, in his infinite wisdom, realised that he was coming through as a, um, a musician and as a composer. Uh, and he, um, before he died, he said it was possibly a good thing that I destroyed all our manuscripts. Because this other person coming through was also named Strauss. Um, his name was Richard Strauss, or his German name was Reichard Strauss, but he was born in Garmisch Partenkirk in, in Germany. Some of you may know it as a ski resort, um, right below the um, Germany's highest mountain, the Zugspitz. Um, and he was starting to become a prolific composer. Uh, and in um, 1911, he wrote an opera called Der Rosenkavalier. And he put some waltzes in it, and there were six waltzes, and they were called the Rosenkavalier waltzes. And because he was German, he naturally composed them at a speed that he'd been used to when his family and Germans in Bavaria danced a waltz. And he wrote all his music, those Rosenkavalier waltzes, at 60 beats a minute. And that's oh, what, yeah. 60 bars a minute. And that was... Um, and that's where the, uh, the 60 bars came from. And it's really a German waltz, not a Viennese. Um, and as time went by, of course, we ended up going through a war uh, from 1914 to 1918. And just after the war period, that First World War, um, he almost became um, a bit like um, our modern day um, composers, the likes of John Barry. Uh, for instance, uh, writing scores for films, but was also writing classical music and operas. And because the music he was writing, especially for waltzes, was at 60 bars a minute, um, when it came to the, um, as was then in 1929, the World Dance Sport Council, and they were devising um, technique books for what was literally the uh, competition dance floor, the international Viennese was scripted for 60 bars a minute because it seemed he was the popular composer um, at the time uh, and it just seemed sort of the, um, the right thing to do for everybody. Uh, so that's where the 60 bars a minute came in from the uh, com compositions that Richard Strauss wrote uh, and one must remember that he had no connection whatsoever to the Viennese Strauss family at all. Okay, thank you. So we'll keep going. Uh, so if you're able to watch us, um, that's great that you can stay with us, but I will upload mm -hmm. to Ballroom Dance UK, mm -hmm. hopefully, if the copy works, uh, yeah. straight from my phone. Right. But, but we need to just to make sure we keep an eye on time film. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. So we've danced it to two different sorts of but very traditional Viennese music. Um, we've had the history, we've seen how it's developed. So what we're going to do now is have a very quick walk through a more modern day sequence dance called um, the Viennese Swing. So it's Viennese music and it's based on quite traditional Viennese um, figures, but it's, it's a swing, there's a swing element to it. Not swing music mm -hmm. as such, it's Viennese music but a swing feel to it. So, we're gonna whiz through this, and keep an eye on the time. So, we're gonna have an open hold, that's our line of dance. We're staying with the wall on this side, and that's the center. So we're thinking now, modern day, 
sequence dancing. So just change it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Double hand hold, open. And we're going to do a side step to line of dance and a swing through, making sure you don't kick each other. Okay? A step to the side and a swing through. And then we're going to do a chassis to line of dance. Side, close side. And we're going to do the same thing again. A side and a swing. A side and a swing and a chassis back to where we came from. Okay, so we've talked it through. We'll dance it two more goes. Here we are. So if you're dancing it with us, you're in double uh, hand hold, leader facing wall. Okay, so we're going to start leaders left, followers right. And side swing, side swing, side, close side, side swing, side swing, side, close side. Okay, do it once more, nice and easy. Ready, and side swing, side swing, side, close side, side swing, side swing, side, close side. I'm sure you are fine with that. From there, you're gonna do what we call a kiss waltz. Kiss, so you're gonna come in. You can kiss if you like. You're gonna come in slightly to partner's left side. Okay, like that. Okay, slightly in. Some people bring their arms in, some people them out, it doesn't really matter. In and then out again. And this is like that pendulum action. You can do a one, two, three if you wanted to. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's a bit like a balance say if you do old time. But you're gonna do a step, gather, step, gather. I'm going forward right, you're going left. Forward left. And we pass on each left hand side. Yeah, and, you, and you, at the minute you're just slightly to the left. So you come into partner, out to partner, then you're gonna release hold with leaders right, followers left. You're going to raise the other arm. We're going to go under followers. You can keep your one, two, three, two, two, three with your feet. Or you can do step tap, step gather. It's up to you. We're going to go forward right foot. You just are going forward left foot. So we're going to do one, two, three, two, two, three. And you want to swap sides. Okay. We're going to do the kiss waltz again. So you're coming in slightly to left again. In and out. Going to release hold under the arm. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, from the beginning again. Here we go. Then I'll have a little check. So any questions, write them now and I'll see them when I can. That's if you're still there. <laughs> here we go. And step, swing, step, swing, chassis down the room. Step, swing, step, swing, chassis back again. Kiss waltz in and out, under to swap sides. In and out and under to swap sides. Back to double hand hold. We're going to have a very quick look just to make sure. Okay, oh, looks okay. Right, let's keep going. So that's halfway. From there, we're still in double hand hold. We're going to go for a walk down towards line of dance. Leader right, follow the left. Now, leader left, follow a right, and walk, walk, and then chassis, line of dance, chassis, line of dance. And then let's just switch that shape. Okay, you're going to walk back again. This time, followers left, leaders right, and walk, walk, chassis, back to where we started. Okay, should we put those three sections together? Well, yes. Two and a half. So step swings and side swing, chassis down the room, side swings, chassis back again, kiss waltz in, out, under to swap sides, in, out, under to swap sides, go for a walk, one, two, chassis, swap the shape, one, two, chassis, back to face partner. From here, I'm going to move Phil forward a bit so you can see his feet. From here, we're going to do two, we're going to stay with double hand hold, and we're going to do two walks, which will be to the centre of the room. We're either going back on his left foot first, we want to lilt at the end with this beautiful music. So one and two, if you like lilt, and back and back. 
Okay, that's your back for follow up. All right, back to where you started. So we've gone on walk, we've come back again. We're going to do two walks to the centre of the room, which will be one and two, three and four. And on four, you're starting to take ball and hold. Okay, up to there from the beginning. Yes. Oh. Here we go, ready. And side swing, chassis, side swings, chassis, kiss waltz in, out, under the arm, and again, back to where you started. Two walks, one, two, chassis line of dance, one, two, chassis back to where you started, two to the centre, two back to the wall, ending in hold. And you can guess what comes next. Let me just double check everyone's okay. Okay, I think people are still managing to see something. We're still pixelated. Yeah, YouTube is a better picture. Okay, yeah, I still think you can still see it. It's just about, it's just a bit pixelated. So, uh, one, I think one more go from the beginning. And then we'll finish it off. Okay, and one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, four. Oh, like One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, four. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. And there is more. And there is more. Leader, you're going to go back on your left, backing line of dance. Follow up, forward on your right, facing line of dance, and you're going to be knees, box steps, natural turns. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. There you go. Starts again. And there are your natural turns. But normally, obviously, you'd be going line of dance. For now, we're going to do it. Round the little corner, start again, coming back this way. Want to walk through? Yes. We'll do a walk through and we'll do both sides. Okay, so we'll do a full lap. Are you ready? Okay, you're joining us. If you're joining us, just give me a couple of seconds to get ready. There we are. Ready? And step swing, chassis. Step swing, chassis, kiss waltz. And here we go. <laughs> Going for a walk. Back again. Two walks to centre. Two walks to wall. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Start again. Side swing. That's just my mic. Kiss waltz. Going for a walk. In and out. And box waltz. Da, 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 da. So I expect quite a few of you can already do that. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, terrible connection. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's constantly pixelated for some reason tonight. Maybe it's just the traffic. Who knows? Right, yeah, I have no idea. Right, so let's do it to music. It's not a long intro, so let's get you ready. So one or two said to me on Facebook, watch the channel. It's Sequence Stamped UK. All one word, Sequence Stamped UK. And I know quite a few watch on Sequence Stamped UK. Have it on the TV mm -hmm. and then they comment on Facebook. Facebook so yes. you've got both running. 
So then you at least see one of them. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, everybody at home, we're all having a go. Here we go. Yes. For our little chat and a few um, three minute drinks. Yes. It will be our Viennese ball. Oh. So get your <laughs> black rags on. Um, and we shall do our best to brighten this place up. Yes. A bit. Got, it's going to look just like the Schoenberg Palace here tomorrow night. Did mm -hmm. I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> Some palace. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to dress it, we're going to dress up, we hope you do. Please send in your photos. Yes. Okay, so as soon as you've dressed up, whatever time that is, send us your photo into the Dance Basics Facebook, and we can all look at each other. Uh, we see all the names, but it's lovely to put faces to the names. Mm -hmm. So, that's tomorrow? That's tomorrow. 6.45. Yes, and we shall have a... A playlist for you. We'll be doing some of this and some yes. of this. Yes, I will do all the normal, all the normal thing, but it'll have a flavour to it. A beanie. Um, and and next week. Next week. Drum roll. Drum roll. Um, it's going to be Argentine tango. I know. Now then, with this, uh, we're going to sort of um, concentrate a bit more our time on the Argentine stroll, but we'll um, do it uh, as authentically Argentine yeah. tango style as we can. We'll introduce proper technique. Yeah. I will give you some of the history of the Argentine tango while we're there. We've got quite a lot to get through next week. Mm -hmm. um, we know some of you will know, will know the stroll already, the Argentine stroll. So we hope to give you an idea of the figures within it to the actual proper, ooh, 
um, Argentine tango figures. Some of you won't know the stroll, so we're going to try and make sure we cover all of it throughout the week. So if you don't know it already, you will learn it. Um, and those of you who want a bit of Argentine tango can use that side of it. So you might not even use it as a stroll, you can use it as Argentine tango. And it's not going to move as much. Obviously, it needs to remain quite stationary. Uh, we're both qualified in Argentine tango. So you might find we tweak it quite a bit. And that's the idea, that we, we're just trying to make it an Argentine tango week. Mm -hmm. So you might find quite a few tweaks. Mm -hmm. If they're not for you, that's absolutely fine. You, you know, this, this is just ideas we're going to give you next week. Uh, in the mornings? That's the, that's the evening next week. It's Argentine tango week. Yes. But in the mornings, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to do um, the Jitterbug Stroll. This is in an effort to get ready for VE Day, which is the following week. So next week's Argentine Tango. The week after that is going to be our 40s week, yes. which is going to be rock and roll, swing jive, little indie. We'll do a little routine, a little 16 bar routine. Going out each night with that, yeah. No, no, just Monday, Wednesday and evening. So not everybody might want to do the stroll, the digital stroll. Um, it's the one I did the other night. Oh. Yes. Okay, so um, if you want to join me, please do. But again, I'll upload everything. So if you can't make the mornings, don't worry. Pick it up again in the evenings. Do you join us for the Argentine Tango? Yeah, so, so you'll enjoy it. You really will. Yeah, it'll be quite different, isn't it, morning and afternoon? Yes. Morning and evening. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. And then we've got the VE Day tea dance on the 8th. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the next two weeks sorted, really. Mm -hmm. So take care. Stay well, enjoy the lovely sunshine we're having. I, mean, I believe that the weather's due to hold. There may be some rain, maybe someday in the night time. Um, but um, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening at 6.45. 6.45. Mm -hmm. Bring so a drink. your pickies. Bring a drink. drink. Um, we might have a quiz, I don't know yet. Yes. So um, from us to you, it's good night. Take care. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Yes. yes. And on Facebook, I'll put the link onto the good quality video yes. tonight. Okay. In case you missed any. Righty? Good night, everybody. Okay. Mwah, mwah. Stay safe, everybody. And see you soon. Yeah, down to 26. Oh, wow. That's not good. Good evening, Nicole. It's Friday evening. It's 7 p.m. So therefore, it's your Strictly Teaching with Shannon and Phil. Hello. Oh, she's there. <laughs> um,